Hey Meta, I heard you built a cool application recently. Hi Martin. Yes, my colleague Guillaume and I built a serverless app. It has multiple microservices communicating in a nice choreography. Choreography? Uh, can you explain that a little? Sure. When you have a set of microservices, how do you get those microservices to interact with each other toward a common goal? There are two approaches, choreography and orchestration. In choreography, each service works independently and interacts with other services in a loosely coupled way through events. In orchestration, there is a central orchestrator controlling all interactions between services. In our app, called Pick a Daily, we decided to go with choreography. Pick a Daily? Uh, what does that mean? Good question. It's a picture sharing app. We built it as a prototype for a customer in London. We combined Piccadilly Circus in, from London with picture sharing and decided to call it Piccadilly. Oh, cool. Uh, can I see a demo, Meta? Of course. Let's take a look. I already have some pictures uploaded in the app. Under each picture, you can see some labels. These are labels extracted by Vision API, telling us what the picture is about. Around each picture, you can also see a colored border. This is the dominant color of the picture, again extracted by the Vision API. The app also creates a collage of four most recent pictures, and you can see that under the Collage tab. Oh, nice app. Uh, so can you tell us what's happening behind the scenes and how you use this choreography pattern? Let's look at the architecture diagram. First. Users upload pictures to a cloud storage bucket using an App Engine front end. That triggers an event to a cloud function. This cloud function uses Vision API to extract labels and colors of the image and saves them to Cloud Firestore. The same event triggers a Cloud Run service that creates a thumbnail of the image. There is a second Cloud Run service that gets triggered by Cloud Scheduler to create a collage of four, four most recent pictures on a schedule. Finally, a third Cloud Run service gets triggered by deletion events. It does some cleanup after an image is deleted. We are using built-in events for Cloud Functions and Event Arc for Cloud Run. The whole architecture is event-driven, also known as choreography. I see. So what are the pros and cons of choreography? Yeah, in choreography, services are loosely coupled. And because they are loosely coupled, they can be changed and scaled independently. If a service fails, the rest of the services can still send and receive events. So there is no single point of failure. And if you want to add a new service or remove an existing service to a new domain, eventing makes that really easy. All right. Uh, so then how do you monitor event-driven systems like this? Well, with all events flying around, it's actually quite hard to monitor event-driven systems. It's also not so easy to catch errors or apply global error and retry policies. Mm, I see. Uh, and where is the business logic captured? Business logic ends up being a side effect of the architecture. It's spread out to each service, and there's no single central place that you can point to. Mm, got it. So can we fix these cons somehow? Yes, we can. We need to keep the loosely coupled nature of event-driven services, but also bring some structure in the flow of events. We need some kind of an orchestrator. Check out the next episode for details. Cool. Thanks, Meta. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you want to build this app, there's a hands-on workshop with a series of labs. The code is open source on GitHub as well. All the links are in the show notes. Bye.